Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Real Life with Mike. And as you can see, my garage is slightly heated, but it is still really cold in here. Uh, it's about minus 35 today, and we are still gonna try to head out, but today's gonna be not much different than my other videos, pretty, pretty much the same, but today's gonna be an evening bite on Lake Winnipeg. So we do have a couple spots that we've hit a couple times and done really, really well there. So we're gonna continue to head to that spot, see, uh, see if we can catch some fish for the evening bite only. Today was just too cold. I think it was like minus 48 this morning and there has been some people that went out. They're absolutely nuts, but I give them a lot of credit because yeah, that's cold. So we're gonna get everything all packed up. We're gonna get on the road, hit the ice, hit our spot and hopefully we can get you some evening fish on Lake Winnipeg. Wish us luck. All right, I think I have everything all set up now. Of course, we do have the, the Sony EV10 up there. We have the little GoPro 4 filming the live scope. And then we have the old unreliable GoPro 9 on my head. So we're gonna keep an eye on that, see how well it does. Maybe it's gonna do a little bit better now that it has some competition with the, uh, the new Sony. But I don't know, so far we had one mark that came in. Nothing crazy yet, but uh, we're gonna wait for the evening bite. Oh, you got it. There we go. That was a good start. It's just sitting there with it in its mouth. Good 16 and a half. We're out here for what? Maybe, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes? Not even. Not even? Not bad. Let's get back down there. Not a bad start. Who knows? Maybe our only one. And of course, Callie got it. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's a good one right at the bottom. Big thing, especially when those uh, big ones come off the bottom, a lot of the times they're very, they're very uh, dormant. They they stay pretty, pretty tight lipped. Oh, of course, I put it down, and then there's a fish just when I get my. Hand warmer. There we go. There we go. Nice 16 and a half there. That's a good one. That one was caught on my pink Rapella slab wrap. All right, one, one and one. It is a pretty slow day, I must tell you though. It is only 3.30, so I mean, I'm, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that prime time is gonna be around that, you know, that four o'clock mark. It sure sucks with an insulated tent, hey, on these cold yeah, days. it's freaking cold in here. <laughs> oh yeah, there he is, pretty far one. Oh, don't turn around. Oh, here you go. There we go. That's a good one. I don't know what it is. A walleye? Yeah. Just have a hard time grabbing them. There we go. Nineteen and a half. That is a nice one. I like it. Nope. That's a good one. <laughs> that one fought a bit. That's for sure. We had we had a hard time getting that one. He was picky. You like to play games. They did. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He just came ripping around and over. You can see on the screen. And that one got him on the jig in the middle. I do have to admit, this is probably one of our chillier days we've had in the non-insulated tent, but uh, I guess we should have known a little bit more to bring the Buddy Flex for a booster heater. We do have the big Buddy heater running right now on full, but uh, same thing. When it gets to minus 40 with heavy winds in an uninsulated tent, can't expect too much. Uh, as you can tell, there's not even a lot of, uh, you know, thawed areas in here. Just right above the heater is a little bit, but I think next time we uh, head out in this temperature, we'll have to have to bring a secondary heater just to keep warm. There we go. 
There we go. That was a, it was right off the ground hitting it. Come on. No, I don't think so yet. Oh, come on. Oh, that's why. That is our first one of the year. Oh. You caught one of like the prairies. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, it's fat. All right. We got ourselves a 23, hard to see the length of these things because they're pretty slimy, 23 inch burbot. Oh man. Haven't caught one of these things for a while. That is awesome. Oh gosh. No, no, no. I can able to pick it up. They're so slimy. And away he goes. Alright, you're gonna need this. Yeah. That's why he was sticking to the bottom so much. I had a terrible time. Um, the only thing that really worked was just sticking right to the bottom and just pounding sand the whole time. Um, yeah, that was biggest bourbon of the year so far. That was awesome. Thank you. And once again, the pink slabber app, pink tiger, I think, slabber app is uh, what got him. No minnows. Well, as you can tell, it is dark outside now. So it, it does make it a little bit easier for us to find our way back. I mean, if there was a lot of blowing snow, we could rely on the uh, the Garmin GPS to, to kind of get us back on the, the track that we used to get out here. But uh, in general, yeah, I think it's it's dark. Headlights will help a little bit with the three foot drifts that are out there. Well, I think we are gonna call it a day. It is getting close to six o'clock. We have a lot more time left for the evening bite, but yeah, it is still minus 33 right now. I think with about 40, or last time I looked, it was just over 40 kilometer winds. So not sure if you'll be able to see in the video, but the tent's rattling pretty good. There is not one spot of this wall that is not frosted and we are starting to frost ourselves. So this is gonna be a really short video. It's gonna make it very easy for me to edit, which is really good. I mean, other than the fact that we caught that like almost 20 inch and 20 something inch burbot, uh, I had a really good day. Kelly, not so much this time. Yes, I can actually fish, but uh, I'm sure she will make it up for it next time we're on the ice. And thank you guys all for watching. Stay safe, especially when it gets stormy out, uh, stormy out there like this. Uh, it doesn't take long for you to get lost on your on your way back to the shore. So, uh, like I say, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't, and uh, tight lines, everybody. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. Until we do, keep it real.